two weeks since the away game at Liverpool, Martin, but obviously since then, Rene Mullenstein has come in and worked alongside you. How have the international boys come back? Are they all fit and well, and have you had a good few days preparation? On one hand, you would think, you know, if they go uh, on international duty, that you will uh, be without a lot of players. But on the other hand, I thought the timing was right, and I, I think the timing was right with Rene, because we still got a lot of players here who are not playing for the national team anymore. Scott Parker, Berbatov, you know, Darren Bent, uh, and they were all here. So we played a game against Crystal Palace. Uh, which we won 1-0, it was a very good game, first 15 minutes was still not uh, ideal and, and not perfect, but after that uh, Adel Trapp, for example, scored the winning goal and, and it was a good game and Mellestin uh, started the next day, René, and I think uh, we worked on a few things which we want to improve, we want to play quicker, we want to play through the spine, we want to play with the fullbacks, and that is not something we did over the last three away games. Of course, we showed some resilience in these games against the Zemt in second half, May United second half, but it was not good enough to have a result against them. So we worked on a few things and uh, get back to the basics. And uh, I was very satisfied with uh, with the work of René, you know, during this uh, ten days. And of course, uh, Billy was not here. He was with the Northern Ireland team, and a few guys. Kit was not here. So uh, we had a lot of youngsters as well. So, but we worked well. And I have to say, uh, after that, the internationals came back uh, yesterday. So that was a bit late. But uh, I feel that most of the players who were here will play tomorrow. So I don't think there's, uh, there's an issue with tiredness or fitness. They all came back 100% and uh, we were very happy you know, with the last two weeks. And hopefully we can convert that and transfer that in tomorrow's game. And, uh, and, and people and my players will show our fans that uh, there was an improvement. I have to say the spirit seems to be very good around the place. And I'm not, obviously defeats have uh, an effect on everybody and everybody's mood but it, it you know the guys seem to be really galvanized and enjoying themselves so it, is that one of the things that you wanted to kind of shake things up a little bit make a few changes in terms of the way that things have been have been working i can tell people every day you know that they have to enjoy uh, themselves they have to express themselves but if you lose three games on of the course. trot then you, uh, you end up with a problem and people don't know but I tried to get René here uh, in the summer then I tried to get him here three months ago and I, a couple of weeks ago I tried again and then uh, I get a surprise uh, reaction and he said I want to come back and he was there probably for two weeks you know, in Qatar so that was very good because I, I, thought, I spoke to other people in England, other coaches but I really felt that we had to do something good, you know, I needed the best and I think of course, it's, uh, you can stretch your fantasy about who is the best, and, but I think René is a very good coach. And, uh, and of course, I've got other good, good coaches, but uh, I feel that, uh, in my opinion, and in my background, I think we will play, we will create a fantastic team. And uh, that is not what I saw against Southampton, Liverpool and Man United. And I still want to offer this, uh, this club and our fans good football. And, uh, that is what you try to create, not only with players, because we need, maybe in, in, in January, you know, sometimes you need players, and I think we need one or two, but sometimes you need good coaches as well, and that is not to take the pressure of myself, because I'm still responsible for the results, but I think uh, it lifts the place, and uh, René is uh, positive, he, he was successful, uh, and you need a successful environment, I think, to be successful, and that is what I wanted to give to Fulham. So once you have suffered post Europa League in terms of some of the, the results that they've had, obviously there, there isn't that to contend with tomorrow, they're a good footballing team, what are you expecting from them and the players that they have? I don't know, I, I don't want to focus on uh, Swansea, that is the first uh, thing we spoke about with René as well, we want to focus on our strength, we want to play good football, we want to control matches and we want to take initiative and, uh, and of course they've got a good footballing team and they beat us three times, we beat them uh, at their place 3-0. Um, final match of the season so that was good but don't forget that overall of course they are a very good team but we had more points than them over the last two years than they had so as I think uh, it is an even game we play at home we hopefully we play with a new energy uh, and we will have to try to, uh, to surprise them and of course we know what they can do you know they play with two flank players the Routledge, Dyer, um, uh, I know Boney from Holland they are good you know but I want to focus on ourselves we talk about them but uh, Swansea is probably an example of a good footballing team and we want to be a good footballing team, so we want to beat them and get back to winning ways. You've talked about the players that you've had around and you've been able to work with over the course of 
the last two weeks. Is there anything different that we're likely to see tomorrow in terms of, you I know you're you telling me the team, but in terms of, of what we, we can expect? I wanted to change a few things before and of course the last three games g gave me a sort of push uh, that uh, not, not only the personnel but in our style of play as well and I think uh, René helped us with that. Uh, so I think hopefully we will see a few things tomorrow which we didn't do before but don't forget I had a word with for example Scott Park you know this morning he said boss we, had, we played so many good games before but the last three or four games were not good at all mm. so we have to get back to our style we have to play football and then we have to keep the ball and play maybe sometimes we need too many touches you know and that is what we tried to change over the last two weeks and uh, play good football and play with the flanks and fullbacks uh, coming forward and uh, like for example Swansea and hopefully our home advantage will give us the edge because that is what I want and that is why I need the support to get behind us and, uh, and if they do I'm very positive about a good result. Defensively obviously we conceded quite a lot of goals over the last couple of, uh, of games also. Breda Hangeland still missing with this, this nerve problem which seems to be an ongoing problem for you and Damien Duff is also out because of, of getting injured at the, uh, the game against Crystal Palace. What have you worked on defensively in terms of trying to rectify those kinds of errors? Of course, although I think uh, the place was good to be here, the, uh, it was uh, fantastic, you know, over the last two weeks. But you always get a few things, a few disappointments. So, Breda trained with us, mm. and today uh, he decided not to start tomorrow, you know, because he really felt his uh, sciatic nerve. So uh, I appreciate that. So we had to change it, and that is what you. We'll see sometimes, you know, but hopefully the players uh, who will do that job, uh, the better England job at the back, uh, will do a good job, you know, because we really conceded poor goals. Uh, if you saw the first two goals against Liverpool, two set pieces. And by the way, we worked on that as well, because people probably think that we don't work in training. We did a lot in training and hopefully it will come come off tomorrow. And uh, Brad is not playing. Somebody else will come in. I've got Philip Sandals for that job, but I've got Aaron Hughes as well, yeah, to, yeah. who could play in that position. Fernando, of course, is the left centre back. So uh, uh, hopefully, uh, and uh, I'm very positive about it anyway. So hopefully, of course, you get your disappointments with players and personnel, but hopefully the quality of my players who are still here do the job for Breda will do a good job. There's definitely a spring in your step I can see so we wish you luck tomorrow. Okay thank you.